understand her photography is this cool, like, I don't know, it's like two of them. We'll take the picture. Yeah. And I was, she was from like, down here. Guys, how we doing? Welcome to Good Works Tractors. Today we are at the Butterfly Girl Photography Place, right? Yep, farm. <laughs> the farm. We have a lot of projects to tackle out here. We have a berm that we have to move all the dirt, the all sand the, out. Yes. Okay. We want it gone. Okay, everything away from the house, we got to take and put it out behind the barn. Then we got to tackle some bushes. Good chance to use a stump wrecker. Now the biggest challenge might be what you see right here. I'm going to do something I haven't done before. I saw it before on YouTube. I think it was Hometown Acres used his box blade to rip up and cultivate and prepare for a garden. So we're gonna give that a shot here. I don't have any tillers to use right now, so we're gonna see what happens. It's springtime, the garden's gotta get planted. Now in some ways, I am risking my life today. There are honeybees out here, there's a killer rooster, and there's even coyotes roaming in the woods. But we're gonna get the project done one way or another. This could be a two-part series, so make sure you stick around. Guys, I'm proud to be sponsored by Bora Wheel Spacers. Today is the first real opportunity in the field to try them out and see how they help with the stability. We're gonna give it a shot. If you're looking for a stability solution for your tractor, make sure you check out Bora Wheel Spacers. Order direct from them. They make them from one inch to six inches wide. Aluminum steel, a lot of options for you. Made in America too. Hey, and if you like what you see here, I'd love to get a thumbs up from you. Hit that subscribe button right underneath the video. And if you're looking for cool tractor stuff, read through that description underneath the video or head on over to GoodWorksTractors.com. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is tackle these small garden strips here. We have one more over that way as well. I don't have a tiller, like I said, so I'm going to really pitch this box blade, tilt it forward by shortening the top link. And I'm going to lower down those ripper teeth as far as they go. I don't want to use the blade on the back of the box blade at all. I just want these teeth to dig down and scrape and cultivate the ground to prepare for planting. I found this on a forum somewhere. I know you guys have done it before. My first time adding some weights right to the box blade. I have 70 pound weights hanging on the inside, four of them, so it adds an extra 280 pounds. These smaller box blades don't weigh all that much, so I wanted to have some additional weight. We have about 70 pounds with the Spico. We have the loaded tires too, so this should be pretty solid then when I'm using that front end loader. But this is going to be a good project for you guys. You're going to get to see this box blade in action. We're going to use the heavy hitch tooth bar as well. We're going to use the brush crusher after we dig out some uh, shrubs up by the landscaping that we're going to be ripping out. And of course, we're going to use that stump bucket too.
All right, guys, I am going into the danger zone. You can see that beehive way back there. I got a till with this thing right around it. So fortunately, we had a, uh, a full body suit here. So there was an actual honeybee inside here when I put, <laughs> put it on though. So hopefully that's the only one, but here we go. So we just got done tilling all three areas with the box blade, mainly, you know, with the scarifier teeth, the shanks that we had all the way down. I won't say it was ideal. Um, you can't get super deep. You know, part of the challenge with a small tractor, it's very light. So I have a four foot box blade on here. It's a good reason why you would not want to have a five foot in my opinion, because when these shanks are all the way down, you can see the, the wheels just sitting there spinning. It doesn't have enough weight to get enough traction to be able to pull anything further. So constantly had to raise up and try to feather it and you're going over an uneven surface and so the box blade is reacting to whatever all four tires are doing and so it's kind of bouncing around so it's definitely not ideal but if you need to do something in a pinch I think the results are plenty good uh, to go ahead and plant with what you have out here but overall I still prefer a tiller. Okay, so didn't think about bringing a, a chainsaw or hedge trimmers, uh, so we're going to try to tackle this without first asking our customer <laughs> to see if we can borrow a chainsaw from them. I could always head back home and grab one, but I figure what the heck, we're, we're right here, we're going to give it a shot, we're going to see if we can knock these out without going that route. Number one, 
it'd be a good idea to cut these down just to prevent branches from whacking the house. We've been lucky so far, but that's the first thing I would say about ripping out the shrubs near the house. Number two, you gotta be able to attack it from other angles. So I might have to get this bush out to get the backside of this one. There's a couple big roots back here. These front couple were easy, but this one's kind of buried underneath that timber and a lot more soil back here without a good way to get to it. Proving a little more difficult. For those of you not familiar with the brush crusher grapple, this is the only type of grapple you can get that doesn't require any additional connections besides just hooking it up to your front end loader. So there's no hydraulics, no electric that's required. You just put it on and you get to work. So then you may be wondering how does this system work without any third function hydraulics. I'm going to show you right now. So pay attention to this stop right here that's on the back side or the bottom side of the loader arm. I'm going to lift up on this bottom jaw just to illustrate this point. So when I lift up on it, you can see it's not touching there. So that stop is going to prevent any further motion of the bottom jaw. So this is essentially where that bottom jaw is going to live. You'll see there are some different positions so you can tweak the angle or the, you know, the, the levelness of the bottom jaw. This top jaw is going to be controlled opening and closing by your curl roll function on your front end loader. So if you're going to dump out a bucket full of dirt or scoop up a bucket, this is going to be that same function that controls the open and close of the grapple. This is going to be the model BC4215. It's for the John Deere Quick Attach. There's also the model BC4200, which is not going to have the center teeth. There's going to be a heavier duty BC4255, not going to have the center teeth, but built a little beefier for the larger compact tractor. Those three are all for the John Deere Quick Attach. There is going to be another version, the BC4300, for anybody that has a skid steer quick attach. It's going to be gray in color. 
doesn't have the middle teeth. Again, it's built a little beefier, similar to that BC 4255. It gets confusing, I know, but all the information is on my website, Good Works Tractors. We can ship these all over the country. We do it all the time. But if you have a skid steer quick attach on Kubota, Mahindra, Coyote, LS, the list goes on. Look for that BC 4300. So you'll see, I do have those third function hydraulics right up front. I wanna give you guys examples of all sorts of equipment in action. So just pointing this out that I don't have anything hooked up here. That's the beauty of the brush crusher is 90% or more of folks don't have these additional hydraulics. So you get into a grapple functionality without the additional cost of the hydraulics or electrical connections or anything else. However, if you're dead set on getting some additional functionality on your tractor, I'd encourage you to watch our videos on the Summit Hydraulic Solutions, both the diverter kit for the front end, the hydraulic multiplier for the back end, the best part is you go to Summit Hydraulics, you order from them, you use code GWT and you're gonna save 5% off your order.
Alrighty guys, we are wrapping it up for today. Day one, we got a, we got all sorts of stuff done, I should say, with the three-point hitch, had the box blade on here, a lot of stuff on the front. We had three different attachments on the front today, the brush crusher, the regular bucket here with the heavy hitch, and our stump bucket as well. So you can see all sorts of different applications for these products. Make sure you stick around. You're gonna to wanna to get a tour of all the wildlife, all the farm animals that are out here. We're gonna finish up moving those berms, get all this dirt piled up out here, get some more spread out in front of the barn as well. sister found this place. She lives on the next road. Okay. And oh. she's like, I found it. I found the perfect place. When I walked back and I saw the barn and I saw the property and no animals had lived in this field for I don't know how long, but it was like lush and pristine. There was no dirt. It was all grass. The barn was perfect. And I was like, this is for my horse. I wouldn't want to live anywhere else now. Like this is the perfect place. And then we just kind of accumulated pets. Alrighty guys, we're back out here day two. We were out here a couple days ago, skipped a day because of the rain, back out Friday morning now to finish up. You can see we've got one section of the berm moved already. Gonna keep working our way around the house, just keep pile by pile, taking it back through a couple of fences back there. Have to have somebody man in the gate just because all the animals want to get in and out, but uh, that's the destination for the dirt. We're gonna get to work. Alrighty guys, well, the amount of time I had available has expired. We got a lot of work done between the first day and today, I don't know, six, seven hours worth of work in a couple different periods. Uh, some gardens 
tilled up and worked up for planting. Got all these shrubs. There were some massive old shrubs that were standing here that we got dug out really quick with a stump bucket. Timbers out with a tooth bar. You know, these berms, I'm not even sure how many yards of dirt we moved, but it was a lot. So a lot of you are curious on how much to charge for different jobs, you know, an hourly rate, maybe by a project. It is helpful if you can come out and walk a project, but for me, that's not really an option. I just don't have the time to do it. And with bids all over the place, I know a lot of you guys don't either. So, you know, I would typically charge somewhere in the $120 to $150 an hour rate for something like this uh, for all inclusive work. So it's gonna depend on your geographic location as well, the amount of competition you have, the type of work you're doing. So this gives you a good idea though of the different projects you can knock out within a short amount of time if you have the right tools with you. I have an important question though, because I told Sheila that I was gonna charge her for this job. I was gonna give her a discounted rate because we're shooting video, but I have something that I really want instead of cash money. So I have not asked her this yet. <laughs> we're gonna see what she says. All I want is just a little bit of that honey after you get your are you serious oh yeah after you get your first uh oh, first batch will that, will that work for you i'll give you a covid hug yeah i would love and love some fresh honey. eggs too yeah all right An see for, for you guys know me i love food so if i can get some food out of a deal i'm feeling pretty good <laughs> oh, yeah for sure all right well good there you go guys the first batch that's right so you can get your payment in honey or eggs or other food as well it's up to you it's totally optional anyway thanks so much for stopping by if you like what you see here i'd love to get a thumbs up from you hit that subscribe button right underneath the video and read to the description underneath the video as well or head over to goodworkstractors.com thanks again for stopping by and until next time stay safe we'll see you soon so egg i have chicken i have duck and then did you want to give me